Hello YouTube. Hey, it's Droid Review here. I just want to say thank you to all of you uh, for the wonderful comments you guys did on my first video. Uh, like I said earlier, it's my first go at this, so um, still going to be kind of glitchy probably here and there. Um, anyways, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to go into a couple more applications here um, that we're going to do. Um, I basically um, I'm gonna go over some applications that I do like, I don't like, you know, I love. I'm I'm not gonna just go over ones that I enjoy. Uh, so, anyways, um, the first one is called Ultimate Faves, and it's kind of a cool one that I thought had a lot of potential, and it still does. Um, I was kind of eh about it when I installed it and stuff, but I found out that it's very custom custom customizable I guess um, and uh, it, it turned out okay so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not but we'll see um, anyways as you can see my home screens kinda empty here um, I've got my widgets here to the right you know some other stuff going on over here um, and I have one little lonely icon and it's a little star called ultimate faves and what it does is it brings up this little carousel is what they're calling it where you can sit here and spin around your favorite applications that you use um, you can have up to 16 applications per carousel. You can have multiple carousels and you just basically signify them down there. You can have one for games, one for applications, one for your contacts. You can have multiple ones. I just have one right now just to test it out. And you can basically just see it just circles around here. Um, you know, and it's easy to just exit and go back into. It's going to pop up here. Um, you just kind of scroll through what you want and click on it and uh, basically it'll go to what you wanted to do. Um, that's basically it. Um, so if for all those people um, that kind of just like the ooh and awe about it, it's kind of cool. But those people that really, really like having a lot of room on their uh, home screen here for their widgets and other stuff that they have running in the background, it's a pretty cool application to have. Um, another good thing about it is the custom custom that you can customize it so much. Um, basically, what you do here is you click on menu settings. Um, you can have uh, quick access by having the soft key here on the right side of the phone for the camera. Instead of it accessing the camera, it'll actually bring up your carousel. So that means you can eliminate any and all icons on your um, home screen. Um, you can basically have it set the carousel speed. Um, you can basically show labels, uh, which basically shows what it is and what it isn't on the icon. You can uh, change the carousel name, select the icon size, change background color, background type, transparency, all kinds of stuff. Just tons and tons of stuff that you can customize, which makes the application, I think, good. If it wasn't for customizing, uh, I probably wouldn't use it just because it really I really don't mind having icons on my home screen for quick access. But for those guys that need a lot of a lot of room on their um, on their home screen, this is a definite must have. That one's called Ultimate Faves. It's also free in the app market. The next one that I wanted to do was a uh, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, describe this, but it's called Mobile Defense. And uh, what it is, is it's basically if you lose your phone, and um, it's, it's basically if you lose your phone, you log into a website, um, and um, you uh, are able to view where your phone is, send messages to it, lock it out, completely wipe your phone, meaning delete your whole SD card, delete your contacts, your emails, your SMS, your phone book, log, all that. That one's called um, Mobile Defense and it's free and honestly I didn't believe it when I first saw it um, but it actually is a really good application. Um, and basically once it's installed you go to the website, um, create a username and login, log in, it'll send a text message to authenticate um, and then you can basically locate it. It's, it's, it's a really cool website um, that you would go to and um, um, I'll show you basically what it looks like when because they have a screenshot of it on their website here and you can easily just go to mobiledefense.com but basically this is what it's gonna look like when you log in it'll pinpoint exactly where your phone is it'll give you an address it'll give you options to send an alert to lock the phone um, and it, it's it's pretty cool I really like it a lot um, it works on all Android platforms um, it's always being updated it has a lot of potential that's one thing I like about um, Android market is all the developers are constantly uh, fine-tuning and listening to their users and changing things the way you guys want it I, that's what I love about Android um, software right now is that they listen to us and uh, we uh, we tell them how their app is good or bad and they actually do change things that one's called mobile defense there's no gimmicks there's no contracts there's no cost to it there's no advertisements everywhere it's a great application
The next one I wanted to go over, um, it's kind of cool. Uh, for all those techie guys out there, um, this one um, is called, um, it's a widget, and it's called Mobile Buzz. It's right here. Can be downloaded free in the Android market. Mobile Buzz basically is a ticker or RSS feeder to um, all anything that has to do with cell phones, and it's got multiple multiple websites. It's good and bad. I like it because I'm all about cell phones. I'm not just about one phone. Right now, I think you know the the Droid is is hands down one of the coolest phones out right now. But um, it's um, I'm not just hands down one phone. I'm a jack of all trades, I guess. Um, when we click on it here. Um, it's going to bring up any and all news that has to do with uh, different phones and we can do scroll through here if the article has a picture we just click on the picture it's going to bring it up for a little bit we can minimize it back down here the one thing I do not like about this is that you cannot really customize it to what the websites that you go to it's only preset here so like there's not really any much customization to it you click on the menu here uh oh let's click on the menu and it's going to bring up oh, let me do this Sorry about this, guys. Like I said, I'm still new at this. Um, if we click on the menu button here, um, it's going to bring up the only two settings, which is the refresh rate. You can change it. And then the content. You can change it to mobile news, which will show you all kinds of different websites for the pre, the iPhone, the Droid, um, anything. Crackberry. You can just set it for Android, Blackberry, iPhone, blah, 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 blah. So here's the refresh rate. Not too customizable. I don't like that. I don't know if I'll keep it. I do like it because I love hearing about um, uh, mobile news all the time, which is really cool. Um, I mean, if it were me, I'd have a couple websites I'd, I'd have Engadget going, uh, Phone Dog, Phone Scoop, maybe GSM Phone Arena, who knows. Uh, those, those four websites I, I go to a lot, and I would love to see the top stories maybe refreshed every hour or so on my desktop. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll get some sort of developer or, or something changed with this, this, this uh, application. So this one does have a little bit of potential. It's not the greatest, but I thought it was pretty good to review. Um, one more application that I'm going to um, go into before I run out of time. It's a kind of a cool one. It's called um, Tripo Mundo. It's right here. It's this globe-looking one, and all it is is a translator, um, and it's kind of cool. It basically um, translates what you want it to say from English to Russian or vice versa, but not just Russian. It has all kinds of different um, languages here, and the ones with the little speakers by them, basically, that's the ones that will actually speak to you. So if we go to Spanish here, which I'm sure we all need translation in Spanish, and say, oh, here we go, this is going to be kind of hard. Hold on one second. Say, hello. How are you? And let's hit the back button. Let's turn the back around here so you guys can see it. If we click speak, and we'll listen quietly here, maybe we can hear it. Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? So, voila, there's the spelling. Another cool thing about this is that when we click this envelope, we can actually send it via text message right there, uh, which is pretty cool. You could delete the little um, web page there, and you can start uh, texting your friends in Spanish or Japanese or English or whatever you want. Um, pretty cool one. That one's called Tripo Mundo. So, um, that one's also free in the app market. Pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, that's pretty much it guys. Um, that's the ones that I'm going to be doing today. Um, but thanks again for all your great reviews. Please stay tuned. Uh, my next one I'm probably going to be doing is going to be dedicated just for the, the some games in the Android market. Um, there's some hit and misses in the Android market for games man because um, uh, let's just say on some other phone there's some really kick butt games um, by some big big companies that uh, release games out to that one phone the iPhone um, here so um, that's one of those things that I'm going to be going over and I found some actually that are pretty cool so thanks again for watching um, if you have any comments please go ahead and comment if any questions let me know I'll, I'll get back to you real quick um, thanks again for watching and thanks for all your great great comments and stay tuned for my um, uh, review on the uh, games that I'm going to be doing thanks again guys